let's take another look at this. Now these are my ponded hydrangeas. And what I do is I put them underground. Not underground, but below ground level. So you can see here, this is ground level. And these are sunk into the ground a bit. And they're covered up with landscape fabric or whatever I have. So you can see how advanced these are and how nice they're growing. And at this time, you have to be very careful that a frost doesn't come and wipe this all out. Because these are very advanced for this time of year. So we are in probably April 5th. You can see how, how, how nice they're growing. So I keep them on the run. They cover it up all winter long. Now if you want pond and hydrangeas and you want that look and ability to move these around, this is the care that it takes. Now I have quite a bit here. But if you only have a couple of plants, it's a little different. So let's take a look at these and take a look at one that was not on the run. Okay, this is a plant that it's just, you know, in soil, regular soil. You know, I, I, all I do is cover it up. And you can see how the plant is protecting itself by not coming out as fast. And that's good. You don't want that plant to come out too fast and get a freeze. But you can see they're not as advanced as the ones in the ground. This is simple here. For a hydrangea. You can see how they're starting to come out. But they're cautious. So, if you have pond hydrangeas, it's best to have them in the ground, below ground level. Now we're back to these. And you can see the difference. It's a lot of difference. And these will grow fine. But do not let a frost come by and wipe this out. With this, the way these are growing now, the new growth on here and the way these have progressed because they are on the run, they are, a frost will hang out in the entire year's wounds. But I wanted to share that with you. My hydrangeas, what I do with my pondered ones in the wintertime, how they look in the springtime, how they're advanced, and where we're at at this time of the year. I always keep that in mind. Pond and hydrangeas need to be underground or below ground level and covered up. Unfortunately, what we have here is frost damage. You see how dark they are. We did have a frost come through. This plant got damaged. And that's what can happen to your, all your plants if you don't keep them covered. For the frost. <laughs> 